Hello everyone. So today we are going to be working with Perimeter for the first time and kind of doing a basic introduction into Perimeter. So we are looking at the Unit 2 Day 10 notes that can be found in your Week 10 packet. We are going to go ahead and skip the warm-up for the time being. You can go ahead and give it a whirl if you want. Um, it's really just looking at line segments and kind of trying to find the total length of those line segments. But as I mentioned, today we are going to be looking at perimeter. So what does perimeter even mean? Perimeter means the sum of all the sides of any given shape. So I'll put in there sum of all sides for a shape. Okay. And it can really be any shape. It can be a straight up triangle. It can be just a collection of different lines here and there that come together in some way, shape or form. Um, it's totally fine just adding up all of the sides. We have another word that we'll be using today, which is polygon. And the definition of polygon is a shape with three or more sides. So down below, I gave you a couple of examples of polygons, um, some of the most common polygons. We have triangles, squares, and rectangles, pentagons, hexagons, and heptagons. Obviously, it goes much bigger than that. There are obviously shapes that have more than seven sides, but just kind of looking at these shapes today. Now, as you look through some of these shapes, you'll notice all these lines or you know little tick marks on each of them. What those tick marks say is that those two sides are equivalent. So when looking at this, we know that this line and this line mean that those two sides are equivalent. Now it says nothing about the third line, which actually it should. Let me see if that's just an error. Yes, it's supposed to say four down below. So it must have gotten left out of the notes in some way, shape, or form, and that's okay. So down below is supposed to say four, and I know that it wasn't going to be five because it didn't have a line like the other sides. These two sides have a line, which mean they are equal, okay? Now, if I were to find the perimeter of this triangle, all we would really do is say five plus five plus four would give me my answer of 14. So again, just adding up those sides. Now, when you look at the rectangle given below, we know that this side right here is 12. We know that this side is three, but the other two sides are not labeled. That's a problem. In order to find the perimeter, we need to know all of the sides. So using our context clues, since this has two lines, and so does this one, this must also be a 12. This one has one line, so does this one, so this one must be a three. So use those lines to help you identify the lengths of the sides that are not given. And then finding the perimeter, we would just add up all the sides. Make sure to be careful not to repeat any of the sides. Okay, there are four sides. I have one, two, three, four numbers. You should never repeat any of the sides. Add them all together. Uh, let's see, that would be 24 plus six gives me 30. My perimeter is 30. Moving down to the pentagon, the five-sided shape. Again, this side right here doesn't have a tick mark, so it is a unique side, nothing else is like it, but it does tell us that that measurement is a five. This side is a four. We should take note that there is another two-lined side over here. That means that is also a four. This is a three, it has one tick mark, so anywhere else I see a one tick mark is also gonna be a three. And then we go ahead and add all the sides. It really doesn't matter which number you want to start with. You could start with the four and then go around. I like to kind of start with the five for no reason at all. And I just add up all my sides. So I have the four, then I have a three, I have another three, and then I have four, and then I'm back at five. Make sure you only have five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're ready to add them all together. Gives us, let's see, nine, 16, 17, 19, beautiful, doing that in my head, okay? 
Last two sides there, um, again, looking at using those tick marks. This one is labeled with one tick mark and it says it's three. That means this is gonna be a three, this is also gonna be a three, and this is also going to be a three. So adding them all together, I'll have seven plus three plus three plus another seven plus three plus three. Make sure you have the right number of sides, six sides, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're good to go, add them all together. We have 14 and 12 would be 26 as my total perimeter. And then the last one, the heptagon, same idea as the previous one. They all have one tick, so we would add three on all of these sides and then ultimately add them all together. Be very careful with this one because it is a lot of threes coming up here. So if I have four, then I have one, two, three, four, five, six threes. So that's three, four, five, six threes. And that gives me a total of 22. Okay, as my final answer there. Moving on to the next side, we get a couple more tricky perimeter problems. So these are not the straightforward shapes that we see on the previous page. We should also take note that we don't have any tick marks, any lines that tell us, oh, this is gonna be the same length as that, okay? So what we're gonna to have to use here is some slightly different context clues. These are more common problems because shapes are not always perfect in the real world. You're gonna get little cutouts. But what's really nice is we can use our rules of line segments to help us figure out the missing lengths. So if you notice, we are missing a length here and we are missing a length here in this first shape. Let's focus on just one at a time. Let's focus on this first line. We don't know what the distance from here to here is. That's the missing piece. However, using our knowledge of this piece down here and the distance of this piece, I could safely assume that from here to here, finishing out this straight line is going to be five centimeters. Now focus in on what I just drew up top here. Boop, okay. What does this basically look like? This should look like the line segments that we've done prior. And knowing what we've done with line segments, I can take this out for a second. Let's replace it with an X. If I wanna know the distance from here to here, and I know that the distance from here, let me show you in a visual, from here to here is 12 centimeters. How could I use that information to figure out the missing link here? Well, if this whole thing is 12 centimeters, this is five centimeters, then x plus five must equal 12. And you can see where our addition of line segments comes in handy here. So we're trying to figure out what plus five gives me 12. And using that context information, I know that this is now going to be seven centimeters. Because in order for this whole length to be 12, seven plus five would give me that 12 measurement. And again, that's just using our context clues. Knowing that from this side all the way across will be 12. We know that this little piece will be five. What's the missing piece? 17. We're gonna use that same idea to figure out the other missing side. We do not know what that length is going to be. So keeping that in mind, I do not know what it's going to be from here to here. That's my missing piece. However, I do know the distance from here to here. Sorry, that's not a perfect straight line. And that's going to be three centimeters. I also know that from this line, the top line, all the way to the bottom line is going to be nine centimeters. So using that information, I know that from this side to this side is going to be nine centimeters. This little piece here is three centimeters. The other piece is our missing piece. So three plus my missing piece, if I combine these two pieces, should give me the grand total of nine. From one side to the other side is nine. We have this little piece and this little piece we bring them together to get nine. So using that context clues, we know that X is going to be six centimeters. 
Now using our line segments, we were able to figure out our missing lengths. We know that one side that was missing is seven centimeters, the other side is six centimeters. So in order to find the perimeter now, because that is kind of our end goal here, is to find the perimeter, all I have to do is add up all of my sides. So I'm gonna go ahead, you can start anywhere you want. I'm gonna start with 12. I'm gonna do 12 plus nine plus five plus my new numbers, six and seven, and then plus my final number, three, and now I've gotten all of the numbers. Therefore, I add them together. Let me grab a calculator. We got 12 plus nine plus five plus six plus seven plus three gives us a grand total of 42 centimeters. One of the things that I forgot to mention that you won't quite yet see in any of your examples is please make sure that all of the units are the same. So we did deal with unit conversions. Occasionally one of the units will be slightly different, in which case you want to consider what all the rest of the units are and make sure that they are the same. Even our answer is in centimeters, so that is a good sign that everything is in centimeters. If one measurement is not in centimeters, you cannot do this process. You would have to convert it to centimeters, and then once everything is in centimeters, then you could add them together. So in order to find perimeter, all of the units do have to be the same. So always just do a kind of quick check for that and make sure that they are all the same, and then you are good to proceed. In example two, we could do a quick check and say they're all millimeters, even my answers in millimeters. So we're going to go ahead and use our context clues yet again to find the perimeter. This time we are missing the whole side. I do not know what the length of this whole piece is. But using my context clues from across, I know that this side right here is 14. And I know that this little section here is going to be 6 millimeters. So if from here to here is six millimeters, from here to here is 14 millimeters, then I have my total length, which I can add together to figure out that that's going to be 20 millimeters, okay? And the last side, as far as time goes, I'm not gonna take you all the way through it, but you can try to figure out what this missing side is, knowing that from here to here is 15 meters, sorry, 15 millimeters. This little section is nine meter millimeters. So what's the missing millimeters got to be? Sorry, my screen just moved, that was strange. So I'll let you finish out that problem, but I think you kind of get the concept there. You can see how we use line segments to get us to our final answer. And you will have a homework assignment that is very similar to this, but it will not be due until Tuesday. So I'll explain that further in our Zoom meeting. Um, but other than that, that is our notes for today.